All right, this is our week three recap for Ellie. We are starting this week off right away, um, getting her into her harness. I know, I know it's so terrible, you gotta stay still. Ready? Good girl. And the harness I already have attached to her leash. That makes it easier. One less thing to have to worry about once she's got this on. Ellie! Psst. Yes, good girl. Good job. And then once Ellie is in her gear, we're going to work on getting some movement. Um, so we'll have her follow that food lure. Good job, babe. Yes. sure that we follow that food on both sides so practice on my right and my left side good girl good job babe yeah what are we doing good girl good girl her hand targets, her sits, and her downs while she has her harness and leash on. We just did her hand targets. Oh my gosh, are you itchy? trying not to use food. Ellie, sit. Very good girl. So by just using my verbal and hand signal, and then once she gets in position, then I'll reach in my pouch and get her food. Down. Good job, babe. make sure that we practice those um, behaviors with the harness off as well. Touch. Good girl. It's crumbs, I know, I'm sorry. Ellie! Hey, puppy puppy! <laughs> Good girl. That took you a minute. that we worked on this week was our crate. This week with the crate we worked on getting her in and out of her kennel. We worked on capturing when that door gets closed and then we had a goal of getting some steps away. What are you doing? once she gets in there. Click and feed once that gate is closed. And then we'll get some distance away from the kennel. And as long as she stays happy, she's not um, whining or pawing at the bars, we can go ahead 
and click and feed her for that. Good girl. And then when we get ready to release her, I'm gonna have food ready. Okay. that I have so at home make sure to practice when you're doing this um, going in different directions getting more steps away and we'll slowly build on the distance away from her crate we can get All right, the next thing we worked on was her mat. Um, so step three in the mat this week. Um, I have a goal of her getting into at least a sit or a down before I click and feed. And then from there, I'm hoping to get some steps away from her mat without her getting up or leaving the mat. Go to your mat. Oh, we found a stray piece of chicken. Very good. So start with an easy one step away, and then we'll build from there on going in different directions as well as increasing the amount of steps you take away from the mat. Okay. Ellie, what are your mat? Right on the edge, babe. Girl. And again, right now I'm working with the space that I have. Um, so I'm not taking too many steps away at home. Have a goal of being able to get um, maybe into a different room or even out of sight without her leaving the mat. direction which maybe she wasn't ready for she tried to follow me I cued that with an uh-oh and I got her back onto her mat I'm not gonna feed her for returning to her mat I'm just gonna go right back into what I was trying to practice good girl okay and then click and feed her for that successful rep good girl yeah that's it for your mat This week while she plays a little bit um, we worked on getting her dressed in her harness having her get attached to that leash right away this week 
we were holding the leash and having her practice walking next to us on both of our right side and our left side, uh, practicing her doing position changes with and without her gear on. Um, so the hand targets, sits and downs, all of those with a goal of not using the food, but still clicking and feeding once she offers the position. Good girl. With her crate, we wanna build on her tolerance of being in her crate um, and not whining, crying, pawing at the bars. So her in her crate while we try to get some distance. Good girl. Um, and then the mat, very similar. So working on her getting into a sit or a down on her mat while we get distance away from the mat. Huge that you guys continue working on both the crate and the mat if you guys have goals of her having a good stationary behavior and her being able to stay in her kennel for a prolonged period. Good girl. Yeah, can I have the toy? Oh, good job. And then to finish this week, we're gonna finish with our handling exercises. I'm running low, well, babe. Hi, love. So this week with our handling, we continued practicing handling different body parts. Yeah, right here. So the ears. I know. Yes. duration to everything that we're doing. Yes. Good girl. Oh yeah, she's gonna lay down. Yeah. Yes. Um, looking in her mouth. Good girl. With our nail trimmers this week, we were working on trimming some nails. started by isolating a nail that I'd like to trim. Yes. Good girl. Having some duration on this hand or paw. You're human, right? Yes. Good girl. I know. I know. I'm taking forever, huh? Good girl. Ready and close. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Um, so we're marking and feeding for when we get a hold of the paw. I'm also marking and feeding once I find that nail. I've isolated it by pulling the fur back a little. Um, I'm playing with that nail a little bit. And then once we get ready to the point of trimming a nail, I have the nail trimmers ready, they're close by, um, so I can easily give her the last piece of food, get my trimmers, trim that nail, mark it, and give her another jackpot of cookies. Um, with puppies, it's easy to just hold them and make them go through the nail trim on all of their paws, but super important to get them used to um, just having one paw, one nail done at a time, and building that tolerance of being able to cooperate for a full nail trim. Hi, Right? We're not done with two minutes. Uh, so we also worked on our brush this week. Last week we did the flat side of the brush. This week we're gonna do the bristle side. Ellie! Hey babe, what do I got? Yeah, we're not done. You're looking for crumbs though. Good girl. Yes. 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 Good girl. That was simple enough. Um, so I started with the flat side of the brush just to kind of do a warm up. And then I went right into the bristle side. So while she's attached to food, she's focused on that food that's in this hand. 
I brush with the bristle side, yes, give her a little piece, brush up north near her head, yes, give her a little piece, um, and then same thing with on her chest. Now the newest thing and the last thing we're gonna work on, um, we introduced some noisy grooming equipment. So this is going to be the clipper blades. Where'd you go? Um, so getting, <laughs> getting her used to the noisy clippers, starting with them behind my back, I'm turning them on back there, and then dropping a piece of food, drop another piece, <clears throat> good girl drop a little more. As soon as she's done eating that last piece, I will turn the blades off and then put them out for her to explore if she wants. Good girl. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do that one more time. What are you doing? So again, I'm starting behind my back, but this time I'm gonna bring them out to the side. Good girl. Lots of crumbs, huh? Right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Very good. And I'm not forcing her to get close to that noise. I'm feeding her at a distance. I am changing where I drop the food to get some movement, um, but I'm not making her to get close to that sound unless she wants to. What are you looking for? Um, but that's it. That is the week three recap for Ellie.